Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jester Average YouTube where today I'm going to be going over 8 different contraptions that are in Tango Tech's decked out. Or should I say Jester Co. Red Tech Co.'s decked out since uh, we're not using the same systems as Tango. So if you want to know how to build Tango systems, look elsewhere. But these systems serve the same function but are different-ish. Now the first one is Loot Finder. You're going to need a hopper dropper randomizer just like this so basically the way this works is if we take out a button and put it here you have a one in three chance of getting a pulse long enough to activate this redstone torch and get items let's just say diamonds uh let's let's go I'm put them in here get some let's just say diamonds and then if you keep pressing the button enough boom you get one in here and then if you keep pressing the button enough it will actually uh, drain the item from in here and put the original item down in here now this is a good way to refresh your loot if you have a different variety of loot right like if you have a coin and then you have a dungeon key and you have a teleporter pearl, you can put all of those in here and it won't be like uh, a huge issue, you know, then you can have them all. But this also makes it so it refreshes at the end. So it goes back down into here and into the system so it can be recycled at the top or whatever you want to do. I personally am going to use this in a system for my season two of Survival Evolved for a mini game that requires you to grab things out of chests. If you wanna see it, well it's on my channel or it will be uh, on December 14th to who it may concern. Anyway, enough about me, let's talk about Decked Out. Next up is probably the most complex system on this entire thing, the Soul Seeker system. My God, did this take a long time to make. So basically, another hopper dropper randomizer for anything. Wait, why isn't this? Oh, I accidentally put a dispenser. See, when you spend hours working on something, it fries your brain cells. But I assure you, this did work in um, testing. So we just fill it up. So it's got a one in three chance. And then, so basically, uh, if it's does this so it re it opens up if you punch it then it will close right and then if we let's just let's just press the button right let's just get rid of the randomizer but then if we press it again boom and then if we press it again it will also reset when the dungeon resets now how I did this was really complex. It took me forever to do because, fun fact, everybody on the actual project we've been working on uses commands and not real people, Redstone. Um, or maybe I'm just too stupid for commands. But this system uses, um, like, first of all, this powers a T flip flop, which is what powers these two doors, uh, basically. Uh, if the. Um, soul torches on these will go down because of the t flip-flop and this also powers the t flip-flop to close the doors after the soul flame has been punched using um this which is um i'm not exactly sure what you'd call it i want to say a uh, flippy floppy floop and um i don't know uh but basically what happens is this powers the torch and then because of the flippy floppy floop instead of a T flip flop this will not power this because of the way it works this redstone torch will be in here and then when this powers this it will power this making it so the torch goes to the other side of the flippy floppy floop and then when the soul flame gets punched out or the soul flame gets put out, then this observer will fire, right? 
if that made literally any sense at all to any of you. But enough about Soul Seeker. We're moving on to possibly the easiest one of them all. Feast. Basically, let's just say these are feast cards. Boop, boop, boop. And then each time a feast card is put in, a stake is fired out. Let's say we have feast three feast ones. Boop, boop, boop. Fires out a bunch of stakes. Now, it will do the same thing with feast three. If you have feast three, it will fire three stakes, right? It's just one stake per number on the card. Uh, now, feast isn't in Tango Text decked out. It was a scrapped idea, but we decided that it should be in our decked out. That's why it's here. Here is Stealth. It will have a bunch of clocks because this is Bedrock Edition and we don't have Pufferfish Detectors and Skulk Sensors aren't out yet. So what we did is we do Redstone Clocks and then each one has 45 items in it, but then there's another clock and another clock and another clock and there's 16 clocks. One for no stealth and one for every single type of stealth there is. Now each time this fires, it will trigger um, a, a randomizer, yet yeah, another randomizer that will either give you clank or won't give you clank. And um, yeah, and each randomizer takes a longer time to, or each clock will take a longer time to fire, uh, like depending on your stealth level. So here would be stealth level one, and then two blocks over is stealth level two. No, it's actually three blocks over. You don't want to cram these too far together. You want it to be compact, but you don't want to squish them. And then stealth, stealth one, stealth two, and so on and so forth. Each time adding ten more items to the hopper clock. So this would be stealth one. This would be stealth two. And so on and so forth. Just to make it a bit slower and make it so you pick up less clank. Risk is something we came up with. Basically... Uh, the more risk you have in your deck, the more, like, risk the dungeon will be, but the better loot you will get from your loot boxes. So, the way I did this is using a bunch of different droppers, each one holding a different type of, um, like, compass, loot, uh, risk 1 through 15, and then, of course, there's just going to be a normal non-risk compass but basically for each level of risk you just power a different torch and it will fire off a different one but what risk does to make it riskier is it cuts off stealth like per level of risk you lose that much stealth and yeah so it's 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 risky right i mean this isn't the exact system we have on the actual thing the actual thing risk uses commands to make the Ravagers stronger and faster and stuff like that. But here's how I would do Risk. Who cares about how it's actually done? But over here is uh, Resistance, which is built the exact same way as Stealth, except for it's just got a beacon with Resistance and a thing that covers it and uncovers it. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And then right here is the deck loader I built. Basically, if you put the... Um, where is it? It's a shulker box. That's what I'm thinking of. You put your shulker deck in here, and then it won't start loading until you put items in. And it will load them very slowly, so it gives the item sorter a sort of chance to pick things up. Now, the way this works is a block, comparator, uh, and then just a very fast clock with a torch, repeater, and a redstone dust attached to the hopper. And then this chest will have a hopper beneath it leading to your item sorter, right? So that way it can just sort out all the different items you have and then come up with all the like n number crunching, the counters, all that. This here is the final thing I did and I didn't want to build the uh, sorting system for the cards because, oh, I punched that. That would have taken me too many hours. It would have taken so long. So I just didn't do it. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys know how to build a, an item sorter. Now, basically, the way this works is you take your compass, and if you throw it here on top of the minecart hopper, it, boom, spits out an item at you. Now, this here is the lodestone set unique or something. I don't know. As you throw in, 
pew, 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 and it just keeps spitting items out at you. Because this hopper passes through this hopper, which passes into this chest, and yeah, that's that. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you, um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope that this is useful to you, you know? I hope it's not just a bunch of random mumbo-jumbo. I hope somebody learned something from this. And I hope you had a good time watching if you didn't learn. But, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, you know, uh, I, I usually don't like saying this, but please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'm trying to get to 100 subs. And uh, remember, most importantly, have a nice day. Try and take care of yourself, okay? Anyway, that'll be it for this one. Bowdy.